Good morning. How are you today? God bless you. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you for another day given to us to come together at your feet, to look into your word, apply them into our life, and then pray, Father, this morning, speak to us. Give us grace to be doers of your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, I want to welcome you to our morning prayer. God bless you joining us today. We are still in the book of Ephesians. We are now in the book Ephesians chapter 1. Let's open our Bible before we have time to pray together and pray on what we have heard. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 1. I told you some verses may take us days or weeks. And uh, I said we are not going to rush reading the scriptures. We'll take them bit by bit, explain them, pray them into our life. We can get correction. We can get instruction. We can get the promises there. We apply them. So we are still in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 1. Open your Bible, please. God bless you. Ephesians 1, I take verse 1. Paul, we have explained that one yesterday. An apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. That is what we want to consider now. Paul the apostle. The, when we talk about apostle, I know some of us will know this, but some of us we do not know. An apostle is a spiritual title. It is a ministry. It is a call, a special call to some special people. The meaning is sent. It is those Jesus has given special assignment. And these are people of higher spiritual authority that are called apostles. We may say that is the highest title and ministry in the church of God. Let's go now. Though we have other titles or ministry in the scriptures. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. We'll see some of these titles or ministries. They are special ministry as I've told you. Let's go there now. Please, let's read together. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. If we also read other passages like 1 Corinthians chapter 12, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28 to 31. And God has set some in the church. Look at those words. God set them. It is God that gives them the title. It is God that gives them the calling. It's a special calling. It is not what somebody say, I love it. You just, you know, or given by men or given by a committee. No, it is a spiritual title a spiritual ministry given for special assignment. God has set some in the church. What's the first one? First, what do you see there? First, apostle. Secondary, prophet. Thirdly, teachers. After that, miracles. Then, gifts of healings. Helps. Governments. Diversities of tongues. Are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles. Now, look, if you also read Romans chapter 12, verse um, 5 to 9. Romans 12, 5 to 9. Then what do we say there? For we be many 
are one body in Christ, and every members one of another, having then gifts differing from differing according to the grace that is given unto us. Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry. Let us wait on our ministry. Or he that teacheth on teaching, he that exalted on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness, let love be without dissimulation. And let's quickly go now. Why? God has purpose of giving these ministries, of giving these titles, of setting these people up in the church. They are not, it's not just ordinary title. They have special assignments that have been given to them. Let's go back again now to Ephesians chapter 4, then in verse 12. What do you see in verse 12? For the perfecting of the saints. That's why God put apostle there. That's why God has placed prophets, teachers, evangelists in the church. Go back there again. For the perfecting of the saints. For the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So you see, it is in you know, apostle is a special ministry and called by Christ Jesus. It is Jesus that has called them that have put. You remember, I showed you yesterday how the Lord called this apostle and empowered him. You see how the Lord even confirmed the ministry in his life. Brethren, let's talk to ourselves. Never give yourself any title or ministry that is not given to you by God. We are going to give account. There are many people today that are giving themselves title. It may be their church members or the church elders, they felt that this our GO or this our leader are. Ah, we must give him this title and they start calling you apostle. They start calling you prophet. Be very, very careful. And let's see what the scripture told us. In uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 4, I told you we'll be doing everything according to the scriptures. Never you do anything outside the scripture if you are a believer. There are some who are having this title are not even born again. They are having title without righteousness. This title is not given to those who are not born again. You must have Christian experiences. Number one, salvation. Number two, sanctification experience. Number three, you must be filled with the power of the Holy Ghost and other Christian experiences. If you don't have these Christian experiences, what are you going to teach? When you yourself, you still need to be taught. Somebody living in sin, what type of title is that? It's a destructive title to such individual. And let's see, in that first, I read Romans now, 1, 5. By whom we have received grace and apostleship. Do you see there? It is given. They don't just get it themselves. And you also see in the book of Revelation, you will see something that should, you know, make us to take caution and fear God. This, all these things also, if you look the book, uh, the Old Testament, you see people who covet this ministry not given to them and they got into trouble. And God even warned them, some of them, some of them died prematurely because they were coveting what was not given to them. Now let's quickly go to this revelation. Revelation chapter 2, verse 20. Notwithstanding, I have few things against thee, because thou sovereignest that woman, Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, listen to that, to teach and to seduce my servant to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idol. What do you see there? This is a lady in the church that gave herself that title. Jesus Christ, who call it herself? Do you see that? And this person calling herself a prophetess, what do you see? She was not free from immorality. 
she doesn't have the spiritual standard she wasn't born again even if she had that experience she has lost it you see her now promoting idol worship eating things sacrificed unto idol how many so-called prophets today also are guilty of all these things they call themselves prophet but they are not free from immorality they are not free from idol worship they may title it they may give the, they may give their church a different types of name let's go to revelation chapter 2 verse 2 you see similar thing here and i know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how that cannot bear them which are evil who are these people that are evil listen to it let's read it downward and thou hast tried them we see that they are apostles and are not and has found them liars do you see here these are people this is jesus christ now talking to his church that these people they are evil that is one two they are liars these are people who call themselves apostles and we have many of them like that today who give themselves title they say they are prophets so so and so they are apostles so so and so but what do you see in their life they have title but they don't have righteousness <clears throat> they have title because they are but they are not born again they have title but they are servant of satan what do you see what the bible told us they are they are number one what do you see in that passage false apostles false prophet they are deceitful workers the bible called them liars the Bible called them seducers. They are fornicators and adulterers. They are into idolatry. And brethren, that is why the Bible said we should try them. I know some of you, you know the scriptures, but let's go through it again. That is First John. <clears throat> we are reading all these things so that we can learn. First John chapter 4, verse 1. What do you see in that Bible passage? Listen, let's read it together. Are you there? I warned you, I've encouraged you. Never you get tied to not given to you by God. Don't allow any church or and if God is using you, don't allow people to push you to hell. Don't get any title that is not given to you by heaven. Don't get ordinary title without righteousness. Title without holiness is hell. But for us who are members of the church or who are believers, hear the exhortation from God. Beloved, believe not every spirit. You hear that? Don't believe every prophet. Don't believe every... What does the Bible say? But try the spirit whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Many of them today, they have good types. If you see the name of their church, when you get there, when you listen to them, just like that church in Revelation chapter 2, the Ephesian church, what do you do? <clears throat> the Bible says we should do what? Try them. Try them. When you try them, <clears throat> make sure they are real. Many apostles are not real. Many prophets are not real. I pray God will deliver you from deception in Jesus' name. I'm going to bow down our head. We are going to pray. Let's pray together. This morning we are going to pray that God will deliver us from deceitful workers. That is a prayer. God will deliver you from false prophets and liars, false apostles. You will not fall victim. You will not fall into their hands. Go with if you are already in their hands, the Lord will deliver you this morning in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. There are many outside there. Many young people today are giving themselves titles, but do never you get title not given to you by God, confirmed by God. Don't get title without righteousness and holiness. Pray that God will deliver you. <clears throat> to pray for yourself that you will not deceive yourself you will be sincere with yourself we have other ministries be content with the ministry god has given to you if you are an evangelist remain evangelist 
if you are a pastor be thank god for the pastora if you are don't give yourself big title pray that you will not deceive yourself you will not ruin yourself you will not ruin your soul open your mouth and pray for yourself especially we young people pray that you will not deceive yourself you will not allow other people to deceive you thank you father in jesus name we pray we are going to pray if you're already a victim of all this false prophet and apostle i want you to pray that god will deliver you from their hands open your mouth and pray we have jezebels there we have false apostles all over the world now pray that god will deliver you from their bewitchment from their seduction from their deception open your mouth pray this prayer very well for yourself many people have been deceived the bible says we should try them <clears throat> pray lord deliver me if they are using bewitchment if they are using enchantment i destroy that enchantment in jesus name pray if you're already in their cage you are com they are committing immorality with you pray that god will deliver you we have many so-called pastors pastor's wife that are into immorality they will seduce you pray that god will deliver you from seduction it is a serious case many people are in this bondage and as long as you are committing immorality with them you will not be they will not want you to be free but the lord will deliver you this morning the lord will set you free this morning <clears throat> i want you to pray that prayer very well any person using immorality to renew you into bondage that god will deliver you from their hands the lord will destroy the power tying you down in deception thank you father in jesus mighty name we have prayed another prayer we are going to pray this morning is that lord open the eyes of our people we prayed that prayer yesterday to bring them out of deception bring them out of falsehood from the end of this false prophet and false apostles these title people pastor they give themselves a big title but they are not free from sin those who are under their bondage that god will deliver them open your mouth and pray for yourself if you know any of them you know your friends that are there why don't you mention their names and say god have mercy on my friends have mercy on my wife my husband my daddy my mommy my children that are under the bondage of these false prophets and apostles pray for yourself and pray for your family that god will deliver you from their deception in jesus mighty name we have prayed let me hear better amen there one thing these evil ministers use is what this lady called jezebel used in the new in the in the in, in the church in the new testament here what are they immorality and idolatry they are twin evil and these twin evil are being used today to put many young people into bondage we want to pray i also want you to pray be very sincere with yourself if you are a victim the lord will deliver you in jesus name these two evil is what many so-called apostles prophets and many a false apostle are using today immorality and what idolatry they use it today we call it covetousness yes money do this you know prosperity uh you know prosperity prosperity there is a child of god must prosper that is okay but they must not use it as a means you see to destroy souls to deceive people we are going to pray all evil ministers using immorality using covetousness to shame our children down to shame our youth down to shame people down in ministries in churches 
let God destroy all that power. Open your mouth and pray. And where you see these two things there, witchcraft is also up, you know, very close, or they also use witchcraft. You will discover that Jezebel was not only using those things. Witchcraft was behind the old sin. We want to pray against witchcraft in so-called ministries that they are using to deceive people today only to end up in hell. Oh, we are going to pray. You are not going to be a victim. If you are already there, the Lord will bring you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for yourself that you will not be deceived. Righteousness and holiness is a great gain, my brother. Make sure you leave any church you are going, any ministry you are going. Make sure it is based on the Bible. It is based on the scriptures. It is based on holiness and righteousness. That is the only thing that can take you to heaven. And if you are a true child of God, let me tell you, holiness will attract blessings, prosperity. Talk about any breakthrough you want to talk. Holiness is the strong foundation. Let me tell you, Holiness is not the same thing with poverty, as people used to say. It's strong when you are living a holy and a righteous life. God will definitely bless you. So our people have been deceived. Our children have been deceived into marine music and many other things. We want to pray that God will destroy all these evil workers. The Bible called them deceitful workers. Let's pray. God destroy and expose them. Destroy all their oppression and liberate our young people today who are being fooled, who are being deceived under these deceitful workers. Let us pray for them. And if you are one of them, please come out. Come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord. That is the word of God, that you can be the daughters and the sons of God. That God will deliver you from their deception. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We are also going to pray. There are many of these deceitful workers that are placing curse. They use sham, enchantment to deceive people. We are going to pray. Any of their curses, any of their sham will not walk on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for yourself. Pray for your family. Pray for your... Let's pray for this, our young generations. That Lord, every enchantment, every curse that these wicked people are using to deceive and keep them in bondage. Let God break them all asunder in the mighty name of Jesus. Every generational cause also working against your life, working against your family, working against your career or destiny. Let God destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray this prayer very well for yourself. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to pray every operation of powers of darkness working against your life let's pray that the lord will destroy them all every enchantment every power working against your prayer life working against your spiritual life power that are hindering your spiritual growth up to date tomorrow you are falling falling and rising every falling and rising in your spiritual life let everyone destroy them and liberate you and make you great the giant in you be released in the mighty name of jesus shall we pray let me pray. Let's pray. I want to pray for you now. Let us pray together. Let's agree. Father, I pray for my brethren. As many who are hearing me this morning, we have seen it is no title that we are looking for. You are looking for holiness and righteousness in our life. Titles, ministries are given by you. Oh Lord, you are the one who give us title. Any title that we have given to ourselves from today, we remove them. Lord, you know our callings. <clears throat> Lord, confirm our calling, whether apostleship, whether prophetic, whether teacher, whether pastoral, whether evangelist, any area you have called us, whether government, whether administration, whether help, any ministry you have called us into, help us to be faithful. And faithfully do what you want us to do in Jesus' name. We will not do anything carnally. We will not do anything to be seen by men. We will not do anything to promote self because we are going to give account at the end of our life. Help us to do everything according to your will in Jesus' name. And I pray 
every work, every activities of false prophets and deceitful workers, deceitful apostles, lying apostles. Lord, against our life, ministry, and family, destroy all their witchcraft, destroy all their bewitchment, destroy all their divination in Jesus' name. Anyone that curse, gener whether generational curse, whether curse from this false prophet and these false apostles that have been working on their life, ministry, and family, I break those curses, I destroy them in Jesus' name, and I pray all powers of darkness operation in the life of your children and family, against their work, against their ministry, against their uh, uh, profession. Lord, every powers of darkness. The Bible said the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Destroy every work of the devil in our life, family, business, ministry, in Jesus' name. Today, Lord, set your people free. Open their eyes once again. Deliver them from any bondage. Every satanic bondage, every spiritual bondage that your people have been kept, any power, any shame, tying them down in falsehood, I break them by thunder in Jesus' name. I release your people to be spiritually sound, to be strong in the inner man, to be the person you want them to be. I pray their giant, the giant inside them, be released in Jesus' name. Arise and shine and the glory of god will be seen in your life from today thank you father for having answered our prayer go before us lord and keep us from all the evil of the day supply the needs of your children lord for in jesus mighty name i have prayed amen god bless you i believe you have been blessed this morning and by the grace of god tomorrow we are going to meet again and then we will see take part of this bible passage especially Ephesians chapter one we are still considering that verse one what we have learned today please let's go and practice them don't take get the title that is not given to you by god and don't covet another person's ministry make sure you pray through to know your ministry your area of work be content with your ministry don't allow anybody to deceive you and give you the title not given to you by god i pray god will help you you will be doers of the word of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.